What's going on YouTube? This is Rich from Random Motorsports and today we're actually inside the garage. We've got Quinn here. Hello, that's me. Oh god, I'm knocking into stuff. So Quinn, what do we have in front of us today? This is our 07K from, this one actually came out of the 2013 Beetle. Yeah, it's got only about 40,000 miles on it and this is what we're putting into the Mark III Cabrio. So, pick this engine up. Uh, it is out of an auto car. We pulled the harness off of it. The harness got sent out. Uh, so which company, Quinn? Uh, it's part of Eurowise, but also known as TDC Shop. Yeah, oh, right. They're in New York. So, they're the ones that's going to be making up a new harness for us. Um, essentially, just got to start prepping this motor so that it can mount the transmission, mount it into the car. Um, we're doing a bit of a refresh, is that right, Quinn? Yeah, we're, uh, looks like the motor that this came out of, the car that came out of, looks like the intake manifold was damaged, so I got a new intake manifold, uh, got a new uh, valve cover, uh, spark plugs, ignition coils, so, uh, basically just a refresh of the motor before we put it in. Okay. So what are you going to start out with, taking off the intake manifold? Taking off the intake manifold with a very long multitude of extensions to get to the bolts. Fair enough. Alright, so I'll get the camera set up and we'll watch Quinn take off my take medical. Uh oh look. Yeah. I'll move it over a little bit more. Which just kinda of worries me. I'm pretty sure most of these bolts are loose. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you put any effort into taking off any of those bolts. Take manifold off. All the ports all look nice in this engine. Valves look nice and clean. Um, yeah, no, overall it looks pretty, pretty decent. I mean, it's a low mileage engine, right? Yeah, it's like only like forty thousand miles on it. <clears throat> That's not bad at all. 
Did you get a thermostat? Hmm? Did you get a new thermostat? No. I figured if... When I probably go to the upgrade manifold, I'll probably do it then. Okay, fair enough. Um, <coughs> yeah, yeah, everything looks, looks alright. Maybe a little bit of a timing cover leak. A little bit. Not bad at all, Clint. Where you find? Let's try my best. Alright. Now, what's your next step here, buddy? Well, I gotta... <coughs> Prep the new the, manifold? Yeah, the new manifold. With the new gaskets. Okay. Well, let's get to it. So over here prepping the manifold. Putting the new gaskets on. It's definitely a good practice to change out the O rings. I would do top and bottom clip. Yeah, I got both. I got, got both. both. And these locking plates. Very interesting injector design. Like, it's also cracked down here as well. Yeah. Trick is to get it under it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Without stabbing yourself in the finger. No promises. I would advise against stabbing yourself in the finger with a pick. Under the edge, and then just carry it over. Sorry, that you're the master. Good One job. Time. Under the edge, and float. And flip it over. Use your other hand to roll it over the edge, and boom. Injector orange moved. So now we got all the clips in for the fuel rail. We're gonna go ahead and start putting them into the actual intake manifold. Okay. So we got the new intake manifold prepped. We got new injector O-rings on. Got some schmutz on that. That was my fault. Sorry, Quinn. Um, got new injector O-rings. Got the injectors and fuel rail. I polished up the fuel rail a little bit. Um, got all the bolts back in, gaskets are on, that's the cap that goes right on here, that has been capped, um, did we swap, no we're going to leave the map sensor off for now because, yeah because I gotta get uh, a new one, yeah, drink guard engines, woo, uh, we just wind up all the bolts now, make sure that they're all good to go, got one last mm -hmm. bolt, Okay. I think it's time, huh? Should probably clean the surface. Clean the surface. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably put the camera back on the thing. While you do that, I'll pull all the old coils out. 
I want to do a valve cover, guys. Come on. I did come with the valve cover. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. I, I got a roll of the valve cover, that's why, which. Which that I am thinking. It is gross. Of. He doesn't trust me sometimes. No, I know. Understandably. Take manifold, new valve cover, new coils and plugs. Got the red top coil, so let's really change it and make it look uh, a little more sporty. Um, so this is where we're going to cut this video. On the next video, we're actually going to be taking off the old transmission. We actually have two transmissions for this car. We're going to take the old one off and then start working on deciding which transmission is going to go on this motor and get it mounted up get it ready to go in the car obviously there's a few more things that we're going to need and we're going to need to run the engine side harness before we actually install the engine but for now that's it we will catch you in the next one